In downtown Greensboro, for the past year and a half or so, chances are you've spotted 16-year-old Trey Taylor running his mobile convenience store. It is long, grueling hours of walking up and down the streets. This time of year, it's all done in the heat. Fox 8's Daniel Pierce has followed his story and found out the young man's business is on the verge of growth, all to prove a point to his classmates. Selling drinks and candy out of a cooler is not an easy gig. And I don't have a lot of drinks. Trey Taylor doesn't care. He's mastered the sales pitch, Two dollars. the delivery, and is known on the streets of downtown Greensboro as the mobile candy man. The exact opposite of where I thought it was going to be. I didn't know people were going to like like it as much as they did and like what I'm doing. As long as you work, I'm a support. We introduced you to Trey in December of 2020. He started his mobile convenience store using a Gray Coleman cooler with a loose wheel. He used the money he made to buy school supplies. Clothes, school shoes, all that type of stuff. So I, I met my goal, but then now I'm just like, since I'm, uh, I'm, I'm of age where you can get a job, it's just like time for me to like, I wanted to have my own job instead of working somewhere else. These days, he's operating out of a different Coolman cooler with a different loose wheel. He's added a business uniform, a Trey's convenience store t-shirt, with his job title on the back. City leaders like Mayor Nancy Vaughn have recognized him. Like, even if I don't get to sell them anything, I just love talking to meeting new people. Trey's had to tweak his approach to selling. Downtown Greensboro has changed since he started. More businesses are open, more people are downtown. Business, though, dies down earlier for him. He credits some of that to popular night spots closing. To get like maybe 150 people, I could almost get almost everybody in there to buy a drink before they went in. So I that lost me a lot of business. So what I did was start coming out here earlier. When I first met Trey, he said he started this job to stay out of trouble. So as I followed him again, I asked him how his success story could help other people his age. There's a lot of other things instead of doing things that might get you killed or hurt. If it's taught him anything, it's the power of perseverance and patience. Might be disrespectful for you out here. Be disrespectful when you're working out here, but you just have to push through it and know that like you can't let that bother you. You just keep working because you know if you like say something back to them, then they're messing up what you got. Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News. And that